Have you gone to a ROM hacking site before and downloaded the ROM hack only to find out that you have an IPS file? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply an IPS file and patch a ROM to make the ROM hack that somebody created. This is a very simple video. We'll be using Lunar IPS to patch the ROMs. Just follow along what I do as always. I'll try to make this video as simple as possible and I hope you guys have ROM hacks working in no time. So you can see here, I have it on my toolbar, Lunar IPS, very simplistic program. Let's go ahead over to romhacking.net and I'll show you their website. This is the best place I've found to find ROM hacks. They have all their new updates on the home page. And uh, they have stuff for everything from Wii, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation. Um, they have all types of uh, ROM hacks. They have tr translations. You can see here, you can search uh, as a game. You can search under platforms. You can search under genre. You can search under category. Uh, complete would be what you want for ROM hacks. It means it's a finished product. But you go under translations tab and you can find all these Japanese games that people have translated for you. Games you never thought you could play or understand and now these guys have gone and done all the work. It is amazing. And for translations, I definitely recommend starting with the Super Nintendo translations. There's so many good RPGs on there. Just incredible. Look at all this stuff. This is the file you're going to need, or the program, I guess I should say. I will put this link in the description for you. And this is the Lunar IPS download link. Just click on this right here. You'll be asked to enter that you're not a robot. And here you go, here you have it. So there is the IPS I've downloaded. It's a Batman hack of Super Mario Brothers. I have my ROM backup right there on my desktop. And this is super easy to use. I'm gonna apply the patch to the ROM. So go ahead and click on Apply IPS Patch. And let's see. I'm going to have to go through this real quick and find um, the patch real quick. There it is. Open that. And now it's going to ask you, what do you want to apply it to? This is very simple. I have them both on my desktop. Look at that. Applied successfully. And that's all you had to do. Now I do suggest renaming your ROM immediately so you don't forget. I'm going to put, uh, what is it, Batman Brothers, I think it was just Batman Brothers, and I'll have the credits to the um, creators in the description, and I always like to put hack in parentheses, just so I know, because there's a lot of games out there you'll come across and you just don't even know if it's a hack or a game, I mean there's thousands of games for each system. I'm going to open up my retro arc here, give me a second, I got to jump through a bunch of hoops to get this going, I'll speed this up. And here we have it. Uh, title screen does not look that great. It is Batman Brothers, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't know how to ROM hack, so I can't talk smack on these guys. I'm sure a lot goes into this, but very cool. Check this out. It's nighttime. Looks like you're Bruce Wayne. And yeah. Oh, and I immediately die. See, that's karma. That's karma for calling the title screen lame. Uh, <laughs> But okay, let's get, uh, ooh, a Batman mask. That is cool. Look at him, he looks just like Batman. This is, uh, this is epic. Not sure about the Goombas. Those guys, uh, those Joker faces, maybe? Or maybe the Joker minions? It'd be interesting to see what Bowser looks like, but we're not gonna get that far. I'm gonna take this out with some gameplay, guys. That's really how easy it is to, um, get these ROM hacks up and running. Just use Lunar IPS, do it a couple times, and you'll be able to do it flawlessly from here on out. Also search for ROM hacks collections. I'm sorry, ROM hacks collections. People have them out there. You just got to go find them. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next video.